A sample of Freon 12, CF2, CL2, occupies 25.5 liters at 25 degrees Celsius and 153.3 kilopascals. Find its volume at STP. A, 22.4 liters, B, 0 liters, C, 3,580 liters, D, 35.5 liters. This problem is a prototypical example of a combined gas law problem. This is evident by the fact that we are given information about the gas at one set of conditions and are asked to solve for one of these variables, volume at a different set of conditions, STP. We start with the formula for the combined gas law. P1 V1 over M1 T1 equals P2 V2 over N2 T2, where P stands for pressure, V for volume, N for number of moles, and T for temperature. If there are any variables in the equation that are not mentioned in the question or are stated as a constant, they may be deleted from the equation as they will just cancel out in the end. Always check twice to make sure you are not deleting illegally. In the problem, we are given the parameters pressure, volume, and temperature. But moles are never mentioned, therefore, we can delete the end term from the combined gas law equation. Now we will write each set of parameters that are given in the problem. The first set of conditions given, highlighted in yellow, will be given the subscript 1 and the second set, highlighted in pink, will be given the subscript 2. So P1 is 153.3 kilopascals, V1 is 25.5 liters, and T1 is 25 degrees Celsius. We are given STP for the second set of conditions, which represents standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature is always 0 degrees Celsius, and standard pressure is always 1 atmosphere. So, T2 is 0 degrees Celsius, and P2 is 1 atmosphere. V2 is what we are solving for in the problem, and is denoted as a question mark. The next step in solving this problem is to make sure the units for each parameter are the same in each set of conditions. This must be done so that the units will cancel out and the final answer will be in the correct units. If the units for any parameter are different in any given condition, we select one to convert so that they will be the same. Looking at the conditions we are given in the problem, we see that we will have to convert one of the pressures to the unit of the other. To convert the pressure units, we must know the conversion factor to change from kilopascals to atmospheres. There are 1.01 times 10 to the fifth pascals in one atmosphere. By using this conversion factor, we will convert kilopascals into atmospheres beginning with 153.3 kilopascals as the given. There is an added step as we must first convert from kilopascals to pascals using metric prefixes. Finally, we convert from pascals to atmospheres by canceling out the units in the conversion factors to guide us along the way. After we multiply the factors together, we see that there are 1.52 atmospheres in 153.3 kilopascals. Before we plug any numbers into the equation, we will rearrange combined gas law equation to solve for V2. First, we will multiply both sides by T2 and then divide both sides by P2.
After canceling terms out, the equation becomes V2 equals P1 V1 T2 over T1 P2. Now we are ready to substitute the given values into the equation. When we do, we end up with zero for our overall answer as a result of the temperature at STP. This is obviously not correct. We must convert the temperatures to Kelvin in order to remedy this problem by adding 273 to each temperature value, making T1 298 and T2 273. We obtain a value of 35.5 liters for V2. Therefore, the correct answer is choice D.